shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my moto vlogs. Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Caliente out in the Caliente garage. Uh, this is not going to be a long video, but I'm going to follow up on the video that I posted about the ride off center stand. As you know, I put the ride off center stand on the 21 Honda Goldwing and a lot of the feedback was just overwhelming. Uh, some of the things that I talked about in that video, I actually left out some key points. So this is going to be like a part two or a follow up video on uh, the part one where I install that right off center stand. I want to go over with you some of the key points that I might have left out on that video. One of the things um, that I noticed is I got a lot of comments. A lot of bikers um, have been reporting that they have not had any problems with their OEM center stand. A lot of uh, the comments that I've gotten via social media, even on the YouTube channel, a lot of the uh, going community is reporting that they do not have um, an issue putting their Honda going on the center stand. Now, keep in mind that everybody may not have an issue with putting their going on the center stand, but there are a lot of bikers. There are a lot of going owners that have reached out to me even prior to me uh, posting that video. Um, talking to me about their center stand. And that was one of the reasons why I actually put that video up is to just kind of help some of you out that may be considering putting the ride off center stand on your Honda going just to make the um, ability to put that Honda going on the center stand a lot easier. But again, a lot of you have reported that you haven't had an issue and a lot of you have reported that you have had issues uh, putting the Honda going on the center stand. Now, keep in mind that on the previous generation going models 2012 through 2017, that going is a lot heavier than the newer going, the 2018 plus Honda going. The previous generation going is a lot heavier. So it will be more difficult putting the Honda going on the center stand on the previous generation going in comparison to the the newer going. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible, but there are a lot of going owners that struggle with putting their Honda going on the center stand. And that was one of the reasons why I posted that video, because I had been using uh, the ride off center stand for about five years and I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, that is one of the the best uh, accessories that I've added to my Honda Goldwing. So I have it on the newer Goldwing and I have it on the older Goldwing. Now I must admit that on the older Goldwing or previous generation Goldwing, um, the bike really needed it. Um, that center stand was, uh, difficult to put on the center stand. It wasn't impossible, but it was difficult. It was challenging. You have to put some muscle into it. There are bikers out there that have had surgeries, uh, back issues, uh, even knee issues. You know, when you're trying to place that heavy going on the center stand, it can be taxing on your knees. You can be putting a, a lot of pressure on your knees. And if you have had previous knee problems or knee surgeries or um, your knee is not strong for whatever the reasons may be, it can be extremely difficult putting that going on the center stand. Um, I believe, and it's just my personal opinion that a lot of men, um, do not want to admit, um, that putting the Honda going on the center stand is a problem because, um, they may feel as it shows some type of weakness. Now, in my personal opinion, um, there's no reason to be ashamed of being able to put the Honda going on the center stand. You're talking about a thousand pound bike and, on the older bike, it is just more difficult to put it on the center stand than the newer going. It's not impossible, but it's more difficult. Now on the new going, you can pretty much put that bike on the center stand and you probably wouldn't even need the 
ride off center stand, but I was so impressed with the ride off center stand on my 2016 that I decided to put it on the 2021. So with that being said, I kind of just want to go over with you uh, some of the advantages of having the ride off center stand uh, in comparison to the OEM center stand. Now on the uh, OEM center stand, uh, one of the things that they tell you is do not park your Honda going on a hill if you're going to um, put the bike on the center stand. And the reason why is because when you put the Honda going on the center stand, it raises the rear wheel off of the ground, completely off the ground with the OEM center stand. And if you uh, put the Honda going on the center stand and the bike is uphill, it will be pretty much impossible to get the bike back off the center stand. You would actually probably need some help because, and I'm going to give you an illustration. Imagine um, putting the Honda going on the center stand and you are basically pointing uphill. If you're on that OEM center stand and the rear wheel is off the ground, once the bike rocks back on to the, center stand you're not going to be able to get the bike back uphill off of the stand to make contact with the road on the rear wheel and that's one of the reasons why they tell you do not park the honda going on the center stand if you're going to be facing uphill now one of the things that i like about the ride off center stand that when you put the honda going on the center stand it doesn't completely raise the rear the rear wheel off of the ground. So even though you are parking uphill, you still can pull off the center stand, even if you're pointing uphill. That's one of the advantages that I like about the ride off center stand is that it pretty much just take the bulge out of the tire. It doesn't take the tire off of the ground. So if you want to put that Honda Goldwing on the center stand and you're pointing uphill, it's not going to be a problem getting a Honda going off the center stand, but on the OEM center stand, it will be pretty much extremely difficult because you got to get that Honda going off the center stand up the hill to make contact with the road on the back wheel. So that's one of the advantages that I like about the ride off center stand. Now, one of the reasons that some of you may not prefer to have the ride off center stand is because it doesn't raise the rear wheel off of the ground. Now I left this out of the last video by accident. Um, I forgot to mention to you guys that if you place a one inch thick piece of wood under the ride off center stand, it will actually raise the rear, the rear wheel off of the ground. So in the event that you need to add pressure to the rear tire, or maybe you need to do some uh, maintenance to the rear of the bike, you can actually raise the rear wheel off of the ground, even though you have the ride off center stand on the Honda Goldwing. So it's not impossible to get that rear wheel off the ground if you have a one inch piece of wood that you can place under the ride off center stand. So I know that was a concern to a lot of uh, going riders. It's just being able to get that rear wheel off the ground uh, in case you want to do some rear, rear wheel maintenance, or if you want to clean the bike and you want to be able to turn the rear wheel, all you have to do is just place a one inch piece of wood under the ride off center stand and it'll raise the rear wheel off of the ground and you can uh, do the maintenance uh, that you are trying to perform on your Honda going. So that is another benefit of having the ride off center stand is that it just doesn't take the rear wheel all the way off of the ground, but you can get it off of the ground with the one inch piece of wood. Now I've tried this with a two inch piece of wood and it's pretty much uh, impossible to get it on the center stand trying to use a two inch piece of wood. Uh, for me personally, I find that a one inch thick piece of wood will work fine. A one by six or a one by just slide it under the 
right off center stand and it'll actually raise the rear wheel off of the ground and you can perform your maintenance and you can uh, clean your rear wheel. So installing that right off center stand on the Honda Goldwing is not a disadvantage. It's actually a blessing in disguise. Again, there's a lot of people out there that struggle putting that heavy Goldwing on the center stand. Не, Леха, ты неправильно делаешь, не подымешь так никогда. <laughs> Not so much with the newer Goldwing, so I just want to point that out. It's uh, probably a bigger advantage to have it on the older Goldwing, more so than the newer Goldwing. But on either bike, you can't go wrong. It's just one of the things that I really like, and it's one of my favorite accessories that I added to the Honda Goldwing. Another benefit of the ride off center stand is for women. You know, you have a lot of uh, lady riders out there that ride the uh, Honda Gold Wings, um, the older Gold Wings, the heavier Gold Wings, and they may not have that strength to put that Honda Gold Wing on the center stand. Now, there are some women out there who can do it. I'm not saying that a woman is not strong enough to do it. And the ride off center stand um is virtually effortless um putting the honda going on the center stand so i personally can see where it would benefit a lot of women i can see it benefit a lot of people that have knee issues back issues maybe health issues it's a blessing in disguise i can see it being a benefit to all bikers now again there's a lot of bikers out there that will say hey you know I don't have a problem putting my bike on the center stand. And, and, and if you do not have a problem putting your Honda going on the center stand, then this video is not for you. This video is for the viewer that has issues putting their Honda going on the center stand. So I just want to repeat that every video that I put up may not be for you. If you can get something out of the video, get something out of it. If you can't get anything out of the video, and that's fine too. But there is somebody out there that watches my videos um, that may have these issues. And the ride off center stand um, is the solution to their problem. So I just want to put that out there to people that watches my video. Also, the ride off center stand is so easy to put on the center stand that you can actually put the Honda Goldwing on the center stand with no shoes on. So for you tough guys out there that says, I don't have a problem putting my Honda Goldwing on the center stand. Try to put that Honda Goldwing on the center stand without no shoes and see how that turn out for you. With the ride off center stand, you could actually put the Honda Goldwing on the center stand without no shoes, especially on the newer Goldwing. On the older Goldwing, I probably really wouldn't try it, but it can be done because it's not hard. Uh, putting the Honda going on the center stand um, when you're using the ride off center stand. One of the things that I really need to talk about is the heated grips on the um, previous generation going when the going has the OEM center stand and you're sitting there struggling or fighting or pulling against the left hand grip to get that Honda going on the center stand, you could actually damage the left heater grip. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of going owners uh, find that their heat is not working. The grips is connected to the same circuit as the seat. So if you damage the left grip, trying to put the Honda going on the center stand, you will soon find out that your grips will not work and your heater, your heated seat will not work. So you may ask yourself, well, why is my grips not working? Or why is my heated seat is not working? It's because they're all tied into the same circuit. And a lot of going owners damage that left grip by placing their Honda Goldwing on the center stand because they're fighting, they're pulling, they're, they're snatching, or they, they may be um, just exerting a lot of force on the left hand grip in order 
to get it on the center stand. And as a result, they break the internal internal wire, the internal wires of that left hand grip. And so if anybody is out there that's watching this video and maybe your heated grips are not working now, or maybe your heated seat is not working now, one of the reasons could be is that you damage your left hand grip trying to put that Honda going on the center stand and you actually broke the circuit. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> I'm not saying that that is the case in everybody's situation. Sometimes you may have a fuse blown or you may have a damaged wire or, you know, it could be a number of things. But one of the things that will cause your uh, hand grips to stop working is damaging the left grip when you're trying to place that Honda Gold Wing on the center stand. So I said that to say this, when you put the ride off center stand on your Honda Gold Wing, um, that eliminates the reason to exert all of that energy and force on the left hand grip. You could actually put the Honda Gold Wing on the center stand without even touching the handlebar. So I just want to put that out there. So that is one of the benefits that I do like about the ride off center stand is that you don't have to exert all of that force on the left hand grip. And last but not least, one of the benefits of having the ride off center stand is that it gives you the ability to be able to put the Honda Gold Wing on the center stand without even getting off of the bike. So you could actually sit on the Honda Gold Wing and engage the center stand, especially when you have a trailer and you're pulling a passenger. If you're on level ground, you don't even have to get off the bike. You could just engage the center stand while sitting on the bike. So that's one of the big benefits of having the ride off center stand with the OEM center stand and the rear wheel not touching. You cannot um, put the Honda going on the center stand without getting off of the bike. So with the ride off center stand, you can still sit in the seat and put that Honda going on the center stand. I hope this video sheds some light on some things that I left out in the last video. I just wanted to do a follow up and just kind of talk to you about the ride off center stand and just kind of let you guys know some of the things that I probably um, didn't talk about in the last video. So in my personal opinion, it will be an advantage to all of the Honda going riders to have the ride off center stand on their Honda go wing, especially if you're having health problems or the knee problems, or you're having uh, health issues. And also it prevents the left hand grip from getting damaged. So if this video applies to you, I hope you get something out of it. And if this video does not apply to you, I appreciate it you for watching this video i'd like to thank all of my viewers and subscribers i put out over 1200 youtube videos if you like this video be sure to click the like button and be sure to have a happy new year's uh, we're going into a new year and just it's a blessing to be uh here for another year because there's a lot of people out there that did not make it uh, due to covid and for a lot of other reasons so um, as you bring in the new year with your families, just give God a, some thanks for allowing you to see a, another year. Well, I'm not going to hold you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribe to the YouTube channel, I will include a link in the description of the video where you guys can pick up the ride off center stand. If you guys have the older previous generation Gold Wing, I will include a link showing you how to install it on the previous generation Gold Wing. And also, I will include a link showing you how to install it on the 2018 uh, through the 2022 Honda Gold Wing. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy, Chris, just out in the Caliente garage, just giving you a part two of the ride off center stand 
advantages and disadvantages of some things that I left out in the first video. And I will talk to you guys later. See you. Golden Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause. In a world of reckless automobiles, these are my motor vlogs. <laughs>